To add a 2D graphics to a part like a sticker or a silk screen print, you want to use what is called a label in Keyshot. Double click the part you want to add the label to. And in the material tab, select the labels tab. Hit the plus icon, hit add label and browse to the piece of graphic that you want to apply. In this case, I select the one called lock that I have here in my project folder and hit open. The label position tool is automatically activated and the default mapping type is set to planar. This will do for applying labels in most cases. I want to position this label below the ball and I can see from the orange outline that the label currently is facing the wrong direction. I hit fit to C axis and rotate the label using the circles in the move tool while holding shift to snap to 15 degrees increments to get the label into place. To get closer to the wanted position, I drag the label using the red and blue square to move both up and down and left and right at the same time. The label is way too big at the moment. To fix this, I go to the labels tab and adjust the size using the sliders. I then readjust the position by dragging the move tool as before, or by selecting the position button and point where I want to center the label. I hit OK once I'm happy with the placement. The label I'm using here is a black and white JPEG. Instead of the white part, I would like to see the gray metallic paint. One solution would be to create and save the label as a PNG with transparent background. Another solution is to drag the JPEG image from the Labels Diffuse channel to the Opacity channel, and then change the Opacity map mode to Inverse Color. The label looks correct now, but as you might have noticed, most of the model turned black. To fix this, I go to the bottom of the Label tab and change the color in the lower left corner to white. Every label added to a material has its own unique material. This means that you can adjust the color, roughness, material type, bump map and so forth for every label independently of the main material. Make sure that the label is selected, hit the label type drop down and change the type from plastic to metal. Hit the label properties and adjust the roughness of the label to 0.1. The label now has the appearance of a rough metallic material. To create the impression of the label having a bit of depth, copy texture from the opacity channel to the bump channel by holding down Alt and left click and drag. Adjust the bump height to negative 0.5 and it now looks like this label has some thickness to it. Labels can be repositioned at any time while keeping all other settings. Hit the move texture button to do so, or fine tune the position using the numerical inputs. With the label in place, let's move on and have a look at the lighting of the scene. For more Keisha learning content, click on one of the playlists below. To make sure you don't miss out on any new content, subscribe to our channel by clicking the Keisha icon in the center of the screen.